Thanks, everybody. Today is Blue Fang, and last time we did Horror Villains, as suggested by Kyrie Safin. This time we're doing Wow Wow Wubsy, as suggested by Caillou Man, an episode that I already wasn't wanting to do. I'm going to have to do twice. Because I had a failed take. If you're wondering, the winner of the failed take, John Starl, who I need to say, y'all need to calm down. This is a Nick Jr. show. Anyways, who am I picking this time? Widget and Chef Ritz, because I like Chef and mechanic characters from what I can see. Proceed. As the tribute stands at their podium, the horn sounds. Widget runs away. Shine runs away. Captain Wonderpants runs away. Cupid steps off the podium too soon and blows up. Walden runs away. Sparkle throws a knife into Old Man Grumpus's head. Stu, Gidget, Shimmer, Jan Jan James all run away. Mad Marvin snatches a pair of shies. Huey scares Flegel away from the cornucopia. Dr. Blue finds a bag full of explosive. Murphy runs away. Wubsy grabs a backpack, not realizing it's empty. John Stahl runs away. Honkers runs away. Daisy finds a canteen full of honor. Chef Fritz runs away. Earl runs away. Buggy runs away. Woozle snatches a pair of sighs. I feel so ridiculous saying these names. I was not looking forward because of how ridiculous the names were. Anyways, Walden searches for firewood, Shine, Flegel, and Dr. Flea hunt for the tributes. Huggy, Mad Marvin, and Jan Jan Jans hunt for the tributes. Sparkle begs for Honker to kill her. She refuses keeping Sparkle alive. Buggy tries to fish with the trident. Stu scares Wubsy off. Gidget travels to higher ground. Captain Wonderpants and Widget hunt for the tributes. Mayor Woozle, Murphy, Shimmer, Shepherds, and Daisy hunt for the tributes. John Starlet discovers the cave. Earl makes a wooden spear. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Cupid from District 10 and Old Man Grumpus from District 9. No districts out, but we are down to 22 survivors. Murphy and Honkers tell stories about themselves to each other. Chef Fritz thinks about winning. Daisy thinks about home. Bad Marvin questions his sanity. Sparkle sees a fire but stays hidden. Mayor Woozle finds Flegel, Stu, and Earl away from his fire. Shiver sees a fire but stays hidden. Jan, Jan, Jans, and Huggy hold hands. Shine and Buggy talk with the tribute still alive. Wubsy quietly hunts. Dr. Flu is unable to start a fire but sleeps in that warmth. Widgeon and Walden talk about the tribute still alive. Captain Wonderpants quietly hunts. Gidget passes out from exhaustion. And John Star quietly hums. Walden questions his sanity. Same here. Daisy and Dr. Flu attacks Dr. Flu, but he manages to escape. Widget scares Murphy off. Huggy throws a knife into Flegel's head. Buggy searches for a water source. Shammer bashes Webzy's head against a rock several times. Widget, Gidget attacks Captain Wonderpants, but he manages to escape. Earl receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Jan Jan James honkers Mad Marvin, and Chef Fritz raids Stu's camp while he's hunting. Shine makes a wooden spear. Sparkle receives clean water from an unknown sponsor. Jan Star thinks about home, and Mary Woozle injures himself. <sighs> Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Flegel from District 7 and Wubsy from District 1. Again, no district is out of play, but we are down to 20 survivors. Earl cooks through reporting his fire out. Stu is awoken by nightmares. Daisy climbs a tree to rest. Gidget, Mare Woozle, and Captain Wonderpan sleep in shifts. Murphy thinks about home. Wh Walden sets up camp for the night. John Star tries to sing herself to sleep. Widget looks at the night's eye. Man, Marvin sets up camp for the night. Chef Fritz, Shimmer, Huggy, and Dr. Flui tell each other ghost stories lighten the mood. Jan Jan Jans hunts to tends to Honker's wounds. Buggy decapitates Sparkle with the sword. Shine thinks about winning. Widget tries to spearfish at the trident. Huggy receives an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Mad Marvin diverts Shimmer's attention and runs away. Earl injures himself. Murphy collects fruit from a tree. Buggy diverts Shine's attention and runs away. Jan Jan Jans hunts for a water source. T Dr. Flui explores the arena. Honkers discovers a cave. Gidget steals from Walden while he isn't looking. Daisy chases John Starl. Stu refuses an explosive hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Captain Wonderpants questions his sanity. Mayor Woozle kills Chef Fritz while he's resting. Two more cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Sparkle from District 4, Chef Fritz from District 6. So again, no district is out, but we are down to the top 18 survivors. So let's proceed. Shine attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. Flu Dr. Flu sees a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Mayor Woozle begs for Huggy to kill him. Drew refuses keeping Mayor Woozle alive. Earl, Jan, Jan, James, Daisy, Walden, and Murphy sleep in shifts. Mad Marvin, Honkers, and Gidget discuss the games what might happen in the morning. Widget thinks about home. Shimmer tries to sing herself to sleep. Stu, Jan, Starl, and Captain Wonderpants get into a fight. Jan, Starl triumphantly kills them both. And Buggy sees a hat explosive from an unknown sponsor. Where he discovers the cave, John Star makes a slingshot. Shimmer attacks Daisy, but she manages to escape. Jan Jan Jan's attacks Shine. Chase a Shine. 
Buggy begs for Dr. Fluid to kill him. He refuses to keep Buggy alive. Honkers makes a slingshot. Again, Mayor Woozle will track down and kill Mad Marvin. Walden goes hunting. Gidget and Earl hunt for other chippies. Widget dies from hypothermia. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance this time. Stu from District 10, Captain Wonderpants from District 5, Mad Marvin from District 11, and Widget from District 2. District 10 is completely out. It's the only district completely out. And we are down to 14 survivors. So let's keep going. Mary Woozle commits his hungers to snuggle with them. Daisy lets shine into her shelters. John Star receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Jan 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 receives fresh food from an unknown sponsor. Walden loses sight of where he is. Gidget passes out from exhaustion. Shimmer and Buggy talk about the chip is still alive. Huggy goes to sleep. Earl and Murphy sleep in shifts. Dr. Fluey loses sight of where he is. Shimmer hunts for other tributes. Da Daisy steals from Dr. Fluey while he isn't looking. Huggy camouflages herself in the bushes. Mayor Woosley camouflages himself in the bushes. Earl injures himself. John Star receives a hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Buggy tends to Murphy's wounds. Shine goes hunting. Gidget and Walden work together for the day, and Jan 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 sprints his ankle running away from honkers. No cannon shots can be heard. I guess you gotta keep that average of two dying every day. Honkers sees an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Jan Jan Jan's a daisy sleep and chiss. Walden thinks about winning. Mayor Woozle attempts to climb a tree, but falls to his death. Earl passes out from exhaustion. Gidget silently snaps Shine's neck. I believe we're halfway there. Murphy stays awake all night. Shimmer climbs a tree to rest. Dr. Flu tries to sing himself to sleep. Jen Starl and Huggy talk about the tribute still alive. Buggy unknowingly eats toxic berries. Earl explores the arena. Honkers sees medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Gidget, Walden, Star John Starl, Murphy, and Dr. Fluey hunt for their tributes. Huggy defeats Daisy in a fight but spares her life. Shimmer makes a wooden spear. Jan Jan James accidentally steps on a landmine. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Mayor Woozle from District 12, a Shine from District 4, a Buggy from District 3, and Jan Jan James from District 12. Districts 4, 10, and 12 are completely out of play as we are down to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Top 10 survivors. My math was right. I could have just confidently moved. Earl and Shimmer sleep in shifts. Huggy and Murphy run into each other and decide truce for the night. Honkers and Dr. Fluey talk about the tree still alive. J Daisy overpowers John Starro, killing her, and Gidget overpowers Walden, killing him. Well, on the bright side, if this is the take that I actually meant just to go through, I won't have to look through some, some concerning images and art. The Feast. The cornucopias of plants of food supplies, lemons, and memoirs from tributes families as Dr. Fluey, Honkers, Murphy, and Gidget all decide not to go to the Feast, and Huggy, Shimmer, Daisy, and Earl team up to grab food supplies, lemons, and memoirs. Honkers receives a medical supply hatchet from an unknown sponsor. Murphy defeats Earl in a fight but spares his life. Shimmer receives medical supplies from an unknown sponsor. Huggy goes hunting. Daisy discovers a cave and Gidget chases Dr. Fluey. Two cannon shots can be heard in the distance. John Star from District 9 and Walden from District 2. That being said, out of the way, we have Districts 2, 4, 9, 10, and 12 completely out. And we are down to the top eight survivors. I was right. Ah. Sherman thinks about winning. Gidget looks at the nice guy. Dr. Fluid comes to cheat a rest. Earl defeats Daisy in a fight but spares her life, and the same thing happens with Murphy and Honkers, and Huggy bleeds out due to untreated injuries. Daisy makes a slingshot. Murphy attacks Dr. Fluid, but he manages to escape. Earl diverts Sherman's attention and runs away. Gidget thinks about home. Honkers dies trying to escape the arena. We're down to the top six. Oh, never mind. The remaining tributes begin to hallucinate. Shimmer mistakes Dr. Flu for a bear and kills him. Murphy and Earl survive. Daisy drowns Gidget, who thought she was a shark trying to eat her. Four cannon shots can be heard in the distance. Huggy from District 3, Honkers from District 8, Dr. Fluey from District 6, and Gidget from District 8. Districts 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, and 12 are completely out as we are down to the top three. No, top four, excuse me. Shimmer sets up camp for the night. Murphy stays awake all night as Earl tracks down and kills Daisy. Earl sees an explosive from an unknown sponsor. Murphy receives, searches for a water source. And Shimmer camouflages herself in the bushes. One cannon shot can be heard and it's Daisy from District 1. Districts 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, and 12 are completely out as we are down to the top three. Shimmer, Earl, and Murphy sleep in shifts. Earl begs for Murphy to kill him. He refuses to keep Earl alive. Shimmer injures herself. No cannon shots can be heard. 
Shamrock bashes Earl's head against the rock several times as Murphy falls into a pit and dies. The winner is Shimmer from District 5. All right, so let's hope that this take goes through. As in 24th place, Cupid. In 23rd place, Old Man Grumpus. In 22nd place, Flegel. In 21st place, Wubsy. In 20th place, One Kill, Sparkle. In 19th place, Chef Fritz. In 18th place, Stew. In 17th, Captain Wonderpants. In 16th, Mad Marvin. In 15th, Widget. In 14th, with two kills, Mare Woozle. In 13th, Shime. In 12th, with one kill, Buggy. In 11th, Jan Jan James. In 10th, with two kills, John Starl. In 9th, Walden. In 8th, with two kills, Huggy. In 7th, Bonker. Honkers, not Bonkers. In 6th, Dr. Fluey. In 5th, with two kills, Gidget. In 4th, with two kills, Daisy. In 3rd, with a kill, Earl. In 2nd, Murphy. And the winner is Shimmer with three kills. Longer than average, way longer. District placements in 12th, 10, and 11th, 4, and 10th, 12, and 9th, 9, and 8th, 2, and 7th, 3, and 6th, 6, and 5th, 8, and 4th, 1, and 3rd, 7, and 2nd, 11, and 1st, 5. That'll conclude this episode of The Hunger Games. Thanks to Caillou Man for suggesting this one. The next episode is going to be The Amazing World of Gumball, as suggested by our Brett Turner, but that is next time. This time I'm going to end it off by saying what I tend to. My name is Wu Fang, and I bid you all a good West Virginia Sun, everybody. See you guys then. Please, recording take, don't fail.